So on one side of the street, I was playing football. Imagine I was a famous footballer. Just across the street, on the other side of the road, there was a small square building filled with books. A library. A library. The kind of place that we take for granted. Just an ordinary small square building filled with books. And often I'd go into that library and I was covered in mud from playing football. Ever since I'd been little, I knew I wanted to write books. And the more I went into that library, the more that dream got stronger and stronger. And I began to dream that one day, I'd go into that library, I'd put my hand up to a bookshelf, and I'd take a book down from the shelf, and what did I dream I would see on the cover of the book? What did I dream I'd see on the cover of the book? Name your name. My name. I dreamed I would see a book with my name on. So all the time I was going in there when I was 9, 10, 11, 12, read the books, and then I'd look at the shelf and I'd say, my book will be there, my book will be there, my book will be there. And then I grew up, left home, and went away. And then a couple of years ago, I had a fantastic day because the telephone rang, and I picked the phone up, and it was the library I used to go to as a kid, the library I used to go to when I was your age. And they wanted me to go back and work with some kids from a local school. I said, yes, that would be fantastic. So back I went across to Felling to the library I used to go to where I was a little boy and a growing boy. And the first thing I looked at was the patch of grass where we played football. It was still a patch of grass, but it was still a famous stadium. I walked across the street into the library. The kids hadn't arrived yet. So what did I look for? What did I go and look for? Yeah. A book with your name on it. I went and looked for a book with my name on. And I stood in exactly the same place that I'd stood when I was 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And I looked up at the shelf where I'd said my book would be there. And I put my hand up to the shelf and I took the book down. And on the cover of the book it said, by David Armand. And inside me there was a 10-year-old boy who went, yes, yes, it worked. And I think it did work. I think the books that I write now, I began to create back when I was a kid covered in mud in the local library. I began to create when I was sitting listening to me Auntie Jan nattering and nattering and nattering and nattering. I began to be a writer when I was a little baby in my Uncle Amos's printing shop. And they all came to culmination in these things, in books. So that's where books come from. Books come from kind of ourselves, from our own lives, from ordinary people. I used to look at books as a kid and think, books must be so weird, so remote, so strange, I'll never be able to get somehow to the world of books. What's the world of books? We are the world of books, the world of the imagination, the world of words. That's what we all are. And stories and books come from ordinary things, ordinary voices, ordinary people. But one thing troubled me about books when I was going into that library and wanting to be a writer, I'd look at a book and I'd say, it looks so perfect, I'll never be able to do that. It looked perfect. What I hadn't seen was where the books come from. And my books, they'd end up looking so perfect, and I'm sure people take these off the shelf and say, that David Ormond, what a tidy mind he's got. What a perfect mind he's got. I used to think writers had perfect minds. Has anybody got a perfect mind here? Anybody got a perfect mind out there? We haven't, have we? We are imperfect beings. My books, they'd end up looking so perfect, beginning notebooks like this. And I wish I'd seen this when I was a budding writer when I was 12, say. My books begin like this, yeah? It's kind of mess, yeah? It's a kind of mess. And this really, that's like the inside of my head, yeah? That's more like the inside of my head than straight lines on a page are. Because we all have heads like this, don't we? We all have heads that are filled with stuff that's just flying around in them. I gave a talk recently in a theatre, and at the end of the talk, I said to the audience, I said, has anybody got a question? And there was a girl sitting right in the front row, and she put her hand up, she said, yes, she said, how do you turn all the mess that's in your head into straight lines on the page? And it's the perfect question, isn't it? How do you turn all the mess in your head into straight lines on the page? And I think the, the way to begin is by accepting that your head is a mess. So every time I set off to write a new book, I get a notebook, I get a pen, and I start to scribble and doodle and play. And I think the idea of playing is really important. We all know that writing can be hard and difficult and serious, don't we? Writing can be really hard. 
But you have to keep on remembering that rain is also a kind of game. It's like playing. So when I go to my shed, I work in a shed at the bottom of the garden, I sit down, I open my notebook, and I play, and I doodle. And then I begin to write sentences, and then I begin to write paragraphs, and then I go to my computer, and I print out work on the computer, and I scribble all over the computer print-offs, and I scribble over it again, and I print it out again, and print it out again, until eventually I've got a whole manuscript like this that I send off to the publishers. And then the publishers spend months and months and months and months making sure that when a book finally comes out, it'll look perfect. And that people, when people take this off the shelf, a finished book, they look at it and say, that David Ormond, he's got such a tidy mind. What they don't see, then beneath it is the kind of archeology. span go down, 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 and you find those messy notebooks. Because in the end, it goes back into this, doesn't it? One of these, yeah. It goes back into the mess of the human head. And that's where my books come from. <laughs>